Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome everyone to the 2024 City of Cupertino Spelling Bee. My name is Raina Shaw, the and I am the chair of Cupertino's Teen Commission. I will be your spelling master and MC for today's event. We are excited to have our Cupertino youth and you engage in these educationally enriching events. And we are so proud of all of our contestants who will be showcasing their spelling bee skills for us today. Now, I would like to introduce our judges in today's competition. Today's panel is comprised of two teen commission members and one youth activity board member. On our judging panel, we have Joyce Chung, teen commission vice chair, who is a 10th grader at Limbrick High School and will be our lead judge. Daniel Chu, from the youth activity board, who is an 11th grader at Bellman Preparatory School and will be our arbitrator and Shivika Biswari, who is in the Teen Commission, a ninth grader on, at Monta Vista High School and will be the round master. We would like to thank our judges for sharing their time with us today and being ardent supporters of the city of Cupertino. We would also like to have a special thanks to the Cupertino Youth Activity Board, a select group of teen volunteers that organize and run community events with Cupertino Parks and Recreation. They help plan, organize, and run today's spelling bee the City of Cupertino's video division, who are working diligently to record, edit, and publish this event online for our community. And finally, Ron Bullock, who worked hard to set up this room for our spelling bee. Thank you so much, we appreciate it. Now, family and audience members. At this time, I'd like to go over four important audience rules. Number one, please place your cell phone on silent so as not to disrupt our spellers. Please always remain quiet and allow our participants to focus. Any sort of help from the audience to our participants is strictly forbidden. Three, we request that our, all participants stay until the end of the event, because after the closing remarks, there will be, we will be giving all of our participants their certificates and goodie bags. And finally, please hold your applause until the end of each round. Spellers, thank you for joining us today. I'm so excited to start this bee with all of you. But first, I'm going to give you some quick information about today's spelling bee. Pay close attention because this is how the bee works. When it's your turn to spell, I'm going to ask you to come up to the mic and I will say your word. And at that time, you may ask for the following. The definition of the word. You can ask me to repeat the word up to three times and you can ask me to use it in a sentence. When you are ready to begin spelling, I want you to remember to say the word, spell the word, and now, this is very important, I want you to then say the word again so the judges and I know that you are finished. Let's do a quick practice example. Say my word is mess. I will first say the word, mess, then I will spell it, M-E-S-S, -S -S, and then I would say it again. So it would go like this, mess, M-E-S-S, -S, mess. Once you begin to spell the word, you can stop and go back, but you cannot change the letters you have already said. So if I said M-A-S, oh wait, M-E-S-S, -S -S, I couldn't do that. You cannot change the letters you have already said. Okay, let's do a quick recap. Remember to say the word, spell the word, and then say the word again. Make sure to go slowly and spell out the word in your head and take your time because remember, you cannot change the spelling of the word you have already said, okay? And as always, you can ask me for the definition of the word, to repeat the word, or to use it in a sentence. Got it? Once you are done, I will rely on the judges who will tell me whether the word was spelled correctly. If you spell the word correctly, you may sit down in your assigned seat. If you spell the word incorrectly, you will sit back down in your assigned seat until the end of the round when you may join your parents in the audience, and I will share the correct spelling with everyone. Good luck to everybody. How is everyone feeling? Uh, good. Is everyone ready? Yeah. I know this... No, that won't be, uh, the, he asked that if in a word we have to capitalize or add a hyphen in it, but that won't be the case in any of our words today. Yes? Is it okay if let's say we have the word instrument, can we do I and then think and then say the next word? Or no? Yes, so you can start spelling the word and then think and continue the word, but you cannot say the word and then change that spelling you've already said. Okay, good luck to everybody. Oh. 
Remember to take your time and go slow. You got this. We are all very proud and honored that you are sharing your spelling skills with us today. If I can now get our first contestant, contestant number one, to please come up to the microphone. Participant number one, your word is acre. Can you repeat that? Yes, your word is acre, and there is a homonym, also pronounced acre, but I want you to spell the word that has the definition of a common measure of the area in the U.S., usually used for land, acre. A. Oh, could you please say the word before spelling it? Acre. A K. E R D. Acred. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. Uh, you may return to your seat. Oh, uh, sorry. Could you, sorry. Could you return to your seat really quickly? Thank you. Contestant number two. Your word is gist. Can you give me that in a sentence, please? She noted the gist of each message. Gist. Gist. G I S T. Gist. That is correct. Participant number three. Your word is braid, and there is a homonym which is also pronounced braid, but please spell the word that has the definition to weave together strips of strands. Braid. B. Oh, uh, it's braid. Oh, braid. B R A I D. Braid. That is correct. Participant number four. Your word is yearn. Yearn. Uh, y e a r n. Yearn. That is correct. Participant number five. Your word is essay. Um, essay. E s s a y. Essay. That is correct. Participant number six. Your word is parallel. Can you say it in a sentence? This line is parallel to the other line. Parallel. Can you tell the definition? Having the same direction, course, nature, or tendency. Parallel. Parallel. P A R A Can I repeat it? Um, like you say can, it again? Uh, as long as they're the same letters that you've already said. Parallel. P A R A L E L. That is incorrect. Uh, participant number seven. Your word is cruel. What? Cruel. Can you say? Can you give me the definition? Willfully causing pain or suffering to others, or feeling no concern about it. Cruel. Cruel. C. Oh, sorry. Cruel. Oh, cruel. C R U E L. Cruel. That is correct. Participant number eight. Your word is fraud. May I have the definition? Wrongful or a criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. Fraud. Can you use it in a sentence? He was convicted of fraud because he lied. Fraud. F R A U D. Fraud. That is correct. Participant number nine. Your word is havoc. Havoc. H A V O C. Havoc. That is correct. Participant number 10. 
Your word is luster, and this has a homonym, but please spell the word that has the definition of the state or quality of shining by reflecting light. Luster. Can you give me the definition? The state or quality of shining by reflecting light. Luster. L-U-S-T-E-R. That is correct. Yeah, thank you. Participant number 11. Your word is cruise, and there is a homonym that's also pronounced cruise, but please spell the word that has the definition of a pleasure voyage on a ship, usually with stops at various ports. Cruise. Cruise. C-R-U-I-S-E. Cruise. That is correct. Participant 12. Your word is ignite. Ignite. I-G-N-I-T-E. Ignite. That is correct. Participant number 13. Your word is jovial. Jovial. J-O-V-I-A-L. Jovial. That is correct. Participant number 14. Your word is quench. Could I have a definition? To satisfy one's thirst or to extinguish a fire. Quench. Q U E N C H. That is correct. And please remember to say the word before and after spelling it. Participant number 15. Your word is subtle. Subtle, S-U-B-T-L-E. That is correct. And please remember to say the word after spelling it. Participant number 16. Your word is vacuum. Vacuum, V-A-C-U-U-M, vacuum. That is correct. Participant number 17. Your word is warrant. Can I have the definition? A document that authorizes or justifies a particular action. Warrant. Warrant. W-A-R-R-E-N-T. Warrant? That is incorrect. That is now the end of round one. Can all participants that spelled their word incorrectly return to their parents in the audience? Participant number two. Your word is zealous. Can you give me that in a sentence, please? The zealous fans cheered for their team until the last moment. Zealous. Can you give me the definition, please? Filled with enthusiasm or fervor. Zealous. Z-E-L-L-U-S. Zealous. That is incorrect. You can return to your seat. Participant number three. Your word is trespass. Trespass. T-R-E-S-S-P-A-S-S, trespass. That is incorrect. Participant number four. Your word is lawyer. Lawyer. L-A-W-Y-E-R, lawyer. That is correct. Participant number five. Your word is agenda. Agenda. A G E N D A, agenda. That is correct. Participant number seven. Your word is errand. What? Errand. Errand. E R R A N D, errand. That is correct. Participant number eight. Your word is abacus. Can you repeat the word? 
An alternate uh, pronunciation to that is abacus. Abacus or abacus. Can I have the definition of the word? An oblong frame with rows of wire or grooves along which beads are slid, using for calculation. Abacus. Um, can I have it used in a sentence? They did the calculations on an abacus. Abacus. A B I C U S. Abacus. That is incorrect. Participant number nine. Your word is feisty. Feisty. F E I S T Y. Feisty. That is correct. Participant number 10. Your word is needle. Can you use it in a sentence? My grandma used a needle to stitch my shirt. Needle. Can you give me the definition? A small, slender, usually steel instrument that has an eye for thread or surgical sutures at one end that is used for sewing. Needle. Needle. N-E-D-D-L-E. That is incorrect. Participant number 11. Your word is redeem. Um, can I have it in a sentence? I studied extra hard for the test tomorrow to redeem myself from my previous bad test score. Redeem. Redeem. R-E-D-E-E-M. Redeem. That is correct. Participant number 12. Your word is gargle. Can you repeat the word again? Gargle. Gargle. G-A-R-G-G-L-E. That is incorrect. Number 13. Your word is guitar. Guitar. G-U-I-T-A-R. Guitar. That is correct. Participant number 14. Your word is metal, and there are two homonyms, metal or metal. And the word I want you to spell has the definition to interfere in or busy oneself undully with something that is not one's concern. Metal. Uh, M met metal. M E D D L E. Metal. That is correct. Participant number 15. Your word is heroic. Heroic. H E R O I C. That is correct. Participant number 16. Your word is homonym. Homonym. H O M O N Y M. Homonym. That is correct. That is now the end of round two. Can any contestants who spelled their word incorrect please return to their parents in the audience? Contestant number four. Your word is foliate. Uh, could you please repeat the word? Foliate. Uh, could I have the definition? Shaped like a leaf. Foliate. Could you use it in a sentence, please? My friend has three pear-shaped bowls with foliate decoration inside them. Foliate. Foliate. F O L I A T E. Foliate. That is correct. Participant number five. Your word is receipt. 
Can you say that again? Receipt. Could you use it in a sentence? The cashier gave me a receipt after I brought, bought my groceries. Receipt. Receipt. R E C I E P T. Received. That is incorrect. Participant number seven. Your word is forfeit. Forfeit. Oh, could I have it in a, in a sentence? If you cancel now, you forfeit your deposit. Forfeit. Forfeit. F O R F E I T. Forfeit. That is correct. Participant number nine. Your word is nourish. Could I, could I have it in a sentence? The cream contains vitamin E to nourish the skin. Nourish. N-O-U-R-I-S-H, nourish. That is correct. Participant, participant number 11. Your word is capsule. Could you use it in a sentence? The pharma ma pharmacist put the medicine in a capsule. Could I have the definition? A gelatinous case enclosing a dose of medicine. Capsule. Capsule. C A P S U L E. Capsule. That is correct. Participant number 13. Your word is barrier. Can you use it in a sentence? The tall fence served as a barrier to keep the animals out. Barrier. Barrier. B A R R I E R. Barrier. That is correct. Participant number 14. Your word is deceive. Could you repeat it? Deceive. Could I have a sentence? The magician used sleight of hand to deceive the audience. D E. Oh, sorry, could you say the word before spelling? Deceive. D E S. I mean. D E S I E V E. That is incorrect. Participant number 15. Your word is fragile. Fragile. F R A G I L E. That is correct. Also, please remember to say the word after spelling it. Participant number 16. Your word is harmony. Harmony. H A R M O N Y. Harmony. That is correct. That is now the end of round three. If you spelled your word incorrectly, please return to your parents in the audience. Participant number four. Your word is kinetic. Kinetic. C O N N E T I C. Kinetic. That is incorrect. Participant number seven. Your word is magnify. Magnify. M A G. N I F Y. Magnify. That is correct. Participant number nine. Your word is narrate. Narrate. Oh, narrate. Can I can I have um in it in the sentence? Yes. The oh. The author was invited to narrate her latest book at her at the library festival. Narrate. 
narrate. N A R A R R A T E. That is incorrect. Participant number 11. Your word is license. Could I have it in a sentence? I got my driver's license at 18. License. L I S C E N S E. That is incorrect. Participant number 13. Your word is welfare. Welfare, W E L L F A R E, welfare. That is incorrect. Participant number 15. Your word is pitiful. Pitiful. P-I-T-I-F-U-L-L-Y. Pitiful. That is incorrect. Participant number 16. Your word is century. Century. C-E-N-T-U-R-Y. Century. That is correct. That is now the end of round four. If you spelled your word incorrectly, please return to your parents in the audience. Um, so can both of our contestants please come to the first row? If you guys, if you guys could come sit here having uh, number seven. Could you sit on number four? Yeah, okay, perfect. As you can see, we have two spellers remaining, which means we automatically enter into a spell off. And at this point, the rules will change a little bit. I'll ask the first participant to spell the word. And if the participant spells the word correctly, I'll go to the next participant. However, if the participant misspells the word, I will ask the next participant to spell the same word correctly. And if it, they correctly spell that word, then the person will have to spell one more word correctly to officially be crowned champion. If they miss the second word, then we return to the rotation again. Spellers, are you ready? Yes. Good luck. Participant number seven. Your word is density. Density. D E N S I T Y. Density. That is correct. Participant number 16. Your word is biscuit. Biscuit. B I S C U I T. Biscuit. That is correct. Participant number seven. Your word is foreign. Foreign. F O R E I G N. Foreign. That is correct. Participant number 16. Your word is ominous. Ominous. O M I N O U S. Ominous. That is correct. Participant number seven. Your word is jealous. Jealous. J E A L O U S. Jealous. That is correct. Participant number 16. Your word is surgeon. Surgeon. S U R G E O N. Surgeon. That is correct. Participant number seven. Your word is bizarre. Bizarre. B I Z A R R E. Bizarre. That is correct. Participant number 16. Your word is mileage. Can you please use the word in a sentence? The car is in good condition considering its mileage. Mileage. M I L E A G E. Mileage. That is correct. 
Judges, I will now be skipping to line 50, uh, for, to word 59. Your word is enormous. Enormous. E-N-O-R-M-O-U-S, enormous. That is correct. Number 16. Your word is rehearse. Rehearse. R-E-H-E-A-R-S-E, -E -E, rehearse. That is correct. Participant number seven. Your word is slippery. Slippery. S-L-I-P-P-E-R-Y, slippery. That is correct. Participant number 16. Your word is virtuous. Virtuous. V-I-R-T-U-O-U-S, virtuous. That is correct. Participant number seven. Your word is is laughter. Laughter. L-A-U-G-H-T-E-R. Laughter. That is correct. Participant number 16. Your word is cautious. Cautious. C-A-U-T-I-O-U-S. Cautious. That is correct. Judges, I will now be skipping to word 78. Your word is pamphlet. Pamphlet. Uh, could you say it in the sentence? I got a pamphlet containing everything about Disneyland. Pamphlet. P A M P A P L-E-T, pamphlet. That is incorrect. Participant number 16, could you spell pamphlet? Pamphlet. P-A-M-P-H-L-E-T, pamphlet. That is correct. Now, participant number 16, can you please spell limerick? Limerick. L -I -M -E -R I C K Limerick. That is correct. Participant number 16, you are our spelling bee champion. <laughs> Congratulations, Ruhan, who is the winner of the City of Cupertino fifth annual spelling bee. Thank you for spelling your hout out and giving us a great show. We and also oh congratulations to Ira who is our runner up and making it to the very end and putting on a great show. As our judges get something for our winners, thank you all for attending our fifth annual City of Cupertino Spelling Bee. We are so thankful to all of our spellers who shared their skills with us today and to their parents for fostering their children's education development. We'd also like to give a special thanks to our judges who are not here right now for moderating this event, the city staff and the youth activity board for organizing this event and our video production team for recording this event for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.